Happy Thanksgiving! I hope your holiday is going well. I know many people, today is Wednesday, many people didn't get to get off until today. I'm a teacher and it's pretty customary for us to take the week off. And if you are in my category, I hope that you've been having a fabulous week. I really haven't. And one of the kids was so kind to give me this nice runny nose for Thanksgiving. And I have been sitting for the last three days trying to get rid of it. You might notice a change in location. Um, my house is a mess. A little bit more so than it normally is. Um, in the last couple of weeks, I just had celebrated my 40th birthday, and this sinus infection kind of caught me right after, or right around my birthday. And uh, instead of been catching up, I've been laying out trying to breathe again. But I'm not going to get into too much. I just, I don't know. This year has just been really weird. You know, you always have a booger picker, and a, um, you know, somebody keeps their fingers in their mouth. But it's like one or two kids. I have half of my class this year keep putting their hands in their mouth, and everything that they get their hands on, they put in their mouth. And it is so gross. And, you know, one of the last days, I think it was, you know, Wednesday or Thursday, I have my kids sitting around my table and we have these counting blocks. You know, a little manipulative, we're doing over a math lesson or whatever. I have a group of five kids and three of them have the met blocks in their mouth. And,. You know, this has kind of been an ongoing battle all year. There's one kid that has his tower in his mouth. It's not in my mouth. Boy, take it out of your mouth. And uh, I kind of, you know, this has been kind of ongoing for a couple of weeks. I've been feeling kind of yucky. Um, nothing really significant, though, but any uh, Advil hasn't been helping much and then the infection set in and that's been going on for a couple of weeks and finally I got a prescription so hopefully it worked but I haven't been moving much but I have been working on the schedule and more research and so trying to work ahead we get the listening schedule down and working on next year's calendar and uh, so right now my setup was to do a record of week and I want to bump that up to two because what did I think I think on a record of week I figured this project was going to last me five years and um, I have another project on the, you know, that I want to get to also, and I don't want to take forever to do that. So, 1,001 songs you must hear before you die. And, you know, really, I should be comparing the two books side by side and see what's in that book that I've been listening to on here. Oh, my goodness, but those things are bigger than Bibles. Anyway, enough of that. I'm sitting here watching the time. I've been usually my reviews last about four or five minutes, and I spent four or five minutes talking about my Thanksgiving. Louis Prima. Let me make sure I get that right. Yes, Louis Prima, The Wild List. And um, I had to check on that because for some reason I was getting him mixed up with Louis Jordan. And uh, 
you know, both of them came out of the same era. I don't know at the same time. And I had seen a while back on a documentary that I found at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame that Time Life had put out. And it was talking about different genres of music. And, you know, it hit those blues guys, those big band guys. And, um, I got mixed up. The Louis Prima. Now, the story behind The Wildest is that Louis is in his 40s. Um, early to mid 40s and his career career is kind of stalling and he is marrying <coughs> excuse me um, somewhere along he had hired a 17 year old Keely Smith to be part of his band and I think she was 22 or 23, and he's in his mid-40s, and he married her, and, you know, he's trying to bump up his career, revive his career. And you have songs like Just a Gigolo, you have Oh Marie, which I think had been around for a while, but he redid this, um, Jump Drive and Well, and kind of an earworm for me was The Lip. Don't know why. Um, so uh, we teleprompter would be great right now. This I have a hard time trying to pin down a date on this. Um, I think I read something that this had come out in in fifty November of fifty six, and I saw somewhere else that this was January of fifty seven. And possibly recorded April 19th, 1956. So it's kind of hard when exactly this did come out. And, um, but I'm dragging on. I'm sorry. Uh, Big Band. I love it. I love it. And again, you know, it reminds me of my grandfather. My grandfather, my grandfather is probably the reason why I love music. Um, Big Band era guy. He always had some type of a, a system in his house and always played big band records on all the time. So we, in, back during that time, Houston used to have a big band station and he listened to it all the time and I didn't fully appreciate it whenever I was growing up. But whenever I started, uh, playing in band in school, I really had a growing appreciation for it. So the uh, the wildest was, um, you know, it was a lot of fun. It wasn't as brassy and bombastic that a lot of big band is. It was it was a little more subdued, but it was good. I like it. If I come across it, I'll pick it up definitely. Um. So that's that. Uh, happy Thanksgiving. See you real soon.